Wow. Holy cow. Say hi guys! <laughs> we are Alley Chuck Adventures and I am Chuck. And I'm Allie. And this is Muttley. And this is Nikki. And if you are new to our channel, please hit that subscribe button and support the channel. And if you like this video, Muttley says please give it a pause up. <laughs> and don't forget to ring that bell notification. So we just got here. We are just set up at Alafia River State Park Campground. This is our first time here. A uh, couple first impressions that I got was that the people in the office were super, super friendly. They uh, gave uh, dog treats to our dogs, which was kind of cool. Never had that happen before. Yeah, definitely. That was pretty sweet. <laughs> That's the first place we've ever been to that, that they've done something like that before. Yeah. And um, just first observations of the campground and the layout of itself is that unlike Anastasia State Park that we just came from where the sites were tree lined you know you were had a lot of privacy in other words so like you know, in your hole there was cordoned off by trees this one here is more open and there's a lot more pull through sites here I noticed too yeah definitely what I like about it is it's very spacious very open um, it's kind of like if you look at it we're out in the country like in a pasture yeah <laughs> I love that. I like that feeling of the openness of it all. Yeah, kind of, kind of reminds us in a small way of Stone Mountain uh, State Park in North Carolina. North Carolina, not yeah. not the one in Georgia. It's just I don't know. This kind of site is I think better for the dogs in a way because they can uh, you know we can tether them out there and let them kind of roam around in the grass. There's a lot of grassy area. Right. Hopefully not a lot of ticks. <laughs> I know, that's true. But uh, <clears throat> so that's that was our first impressions. Uh, we just got here. It's a little bit late on a Friday evening. Uh, we're going to be here for the next uh, couple nights, right? A couple yeah. nights? Three nights. Yeah, we'll be here until Monday. Monday we'll be going back home. Yeah, so we're going to do some exploring. Supposedly they have bike trails here that we want to check out. So far, I really like this campground. I can really see us coming back here and trying it out again. So Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. So we're going to go find a grocery store, load up on a few things, and just make tonight a chillaxing kind of night. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> So we just got through taking the dogs for a bike ride in their little bike trailer and kind of just exploring the campground itself here. Um, we did leave them in the RV for a minute while we explored, me and Allie. Yeah, and the bike trails are pretty primitive and so we definitely need to buy some bike helmets before we venture on those trails because there were a lot of routes that I was afraid that if I hit them and I got tossed off, I could yeah. definitely get hurt. So. Oh yeah. <clears throat> that and we were, uh, the grass was kind of overgrown in areas and she's worried about ticks. Yeah, so. I didn't put any bug spray on and I always get ticks. So, so we're going to put a little bug spray on before we do that. But we, yeah. it was a good uh, little test run for the dogs. We left them for the first time, Muttley and Nikki. We Muttley was them. crying a little bit yeah, in the beginning, but then... Nikki was happy. Yeah, I think she was happy that he, you know, she had some... Company. Company, yeah. Mm -hmm. And he just, he wants to be with me all the time. So I think he was just crying to... Wondering where I went. Yeah, so we're gonna little by little try to leave them a little more and a little more. That time was like 10 minutes, so maybe next time we'll try, you know, 15 or 20. And uh, they weren't barking or crying when we came back, so that's a good sign. Maybe, you know, I think he finally settled down mm -hmm. when he realized that everything was okay. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna sit inside and cool down for a little bit. We're yes. getting hot now. Yeah, it's pretty hot out here. Eat a little lunch, and then uh, we'll probably go get us some bike helmets and try those bike trails later and let you know how those worked out. Yep. All right. <laughs> And we decided to be legal and smart. We went and got bike helmets. I'm styling. What do you think? Allie. You look cute. What do you look like? <laughs> okay, so we just got back from doing our little reconnaissance mission of the bike trails here at Alafia River State Park. And we spent about probably 45 minutes over there and it was amazing. There were so many different trails that you could choose from, um, from easy to advanced mm -hmm. to expert, and uh, we actually went on an intermediate one, 
we met some guys over there and they were showing us the specific trail that had a ramp and Chuck actually did it. <laughs> I was too scared to try it. Maybe tomorrow I'll try it, but um, I went down one of, the hi one of the steep hills that I was screaming the whole way down, but it was so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, those guys were super helpful and that was, yeah. oh, it was so awesome that they kind of, you know, because we went on the easy trails to start with and we saw a couple turtles, which was cool. Yeah. And as we were coming out, I was playing around on this one little hill and they were like, hey, you know, um, if you want to, you know, a little bit, I forget even what they said, but they were, they were just basically telling us that one trail was super hard and yeah. they were telling us another one was kind of intermediate. So we went with them over to the intermediate one where the ramp was, and it was uh, it was it, it took me a little nerve. I'll be honest, I probably wouldn't have, <laughs> I probably wouldn't have done it had they not been there, and I didn't and I hadn't felt kind of like a wimp. <laughs> but they were like, "It's not bad. It's trust me, just ride your bright brake going down." I was like, and I okay. told him, I said, "Well, I said he's turning 50 in July 4th." I said, <laughs> "I said I'm pretty proud of him." He said, "Wow." He said, "I hope I can ride these." these um trails and i turn 50. and i was like hey 50 <laughs> not that old come on i said well next year i'll be 50 so <laughs> um but anyways yeah, yeah if you love mountain biking and mm -hmm. you love riding your bike th these trails are awesome here oh, at alafaya yeah i said it's so cool that different state parks have different things to offer like anastasia state park is more like for the beach mm -hmm. and then you go to like rainbow, rainbow River, springs yeah, yeah. Or rainbow springs is great yeah. for kayaking and canoeing rainbow River. and and you come here to a place like this and you got mountain biking, you know, it's, it's really cool. Yeah. And Payne's Prairie, you got the buffalo. And it's mm -hmm. just, each, each state park has its own little, uh, little thing. And that, I love uh, it all. I like, I like doing it all. Mm -hmm. So it's just being out in nature and doing I, I, all the different things I, yeah, that they I, offer. Yeah, I would like to come back here in cooler weather too and definitely do this. So I'm probably going to try to book something way out in advance because mm -hmm. I'm sure it's packed in the wintertime here. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go back tomorrow. Well, tonight we're going to go ahead and... Uh, cook our dinner and uh, play some ladder ball and stuff like that and start a campfire and uh, let the mm -hmm. dogs enjoy the evening out here with us and then tomorrow we will go back and take the dogs on the easy trail and let them ride that and maybe see some turtles and wildlife and uh, then we'll probably come back and well I know we will we'll come back weather permitting and we're gonna hit some of those trails more yep yeah, okay so that was fun can't wait till tomorrow yep <laughs> <laughs> So we just got through uh, looking around here at the Fort Meade Museum here in Fort Meade. They have a train. They have a barn over here with an old McCormick Deering tractor and a couple other uh, implements that I'm not sure what they are. Something to do with mining, I do believe, though. And they have a museum where you can go inside and they have a lot of information, historical information. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's closed today, is Sunday. Um, but Had I think we, that would be yeah. really neat to check out. Had we known, we'd probably done this yesterday, honestly. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah, but uh, yeah, this is this looks to be like a little cute little old 
old Florida town, so we're going to drive and, and just kind of check it out and see what all it has to offer. It looks like a lot of things are probably closed today because it is Sunday, but that's okay. It's, uh, it's like 107 degrees outside right now, so we're fine with staying in the AC of the truck and just kind of looking at stuff as we go by today. Yep. But we did get the dogs out, and they got to check out the train and the caboose, and uh, it's pretty cool. Wish it was unlocked where we could have gone in. That would have been really neat. One thing I did notice is uh, evidently they have air conditioning in these train cars because they have a uh, basically a, like a home unit set up outside it there. So evidently if you're coming during the week when it's open, it won't be too hot in there. All right, Fort Meade, you know, definitely definitely glad that we got out of the uh, well, got out of the road. Yeah, got mm -hmm. out of the town, you know, got out of the park today and decided to drive around and check things out a little bit. So we're going to take the dogs and try this hiking trail and see what uh, what this has to offer. Well, apparently we are at a fork in the road. Let's go right. Yeah. Come on. Get your drink. Take a water break. That's it. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. We can get some more water. So it looks like we are at the get some water. at the hiking trail here. Water. So this is that old art Agrico. We'll have to figure out how to pronounce it. Later. Agrico. Agrico trail, but it's only for walking. And check it out. Yeah, okay, and watch for snakes. Yeah. Wow, this is really pretty through here. Definitely some mounds. Gorgeous. Some up and downs, mm -hmm. you know, in elevation compared to what you normally get in Florida. Wow, Nikki, you're not going fishing in that. Uh -huh. it's wow, look at that. Okay. Oh my gosh, this trail is awesome. It's got so many hills and yeah, swampiness is beautiful with the moss and the trees. Oh my gosh, it's just, just a little, just a little worried about snakes and, and gators and such. Yeah, but, but uh, I'm leading the way and and, and watching best I can. Cause it's really swampy in here. Really swampy. Oh yeah. You Show it right that. <laughs> Look yeah. how steep this hill is. Oh yeah. I don't yeah. know if you can tell, but it's really high oh, this, up. This is what we just climbed up. I don't know if you can tell I'm yeah. here or not, but man. It's pretty much straight up. Wow, it is crazy. This is awesome. So we are walking up on top of a ridge right now here. It's uh sheer drop offs on either side, which is kind of crazy to say in Florida that you have sheer drop offs. Uh, but we do. Oh my god, I thought that was a snake. Uh, I just seen a vine and I thought it was a snake. Uh, so we've just stopped again. We did turn around just because we don't know how far it goes back in there. And it's getting kind of late. And I don't want to be stuck in here when the sun starts dipping down too far. It's kind of amazing here. Yeah, it's kind of amazing. There's just trails everywhere. So I mean you can see the red paint on the trees but it's like here and there and it's like Yeah. Right. Mosquitoes aren't too bad in here. I mean I've only sprayed my legs. I've only gotten bit like once or twice on my arm. Not too bad. They were bad yesterday. Yeah, it's not but it was later yesterday when we started getting bit. Yeah. Alright, let's pack up and hit hit the trail. So at this point I think uh, I think we're gonna call it a day as far as strenuous activity because it's, it's so heat. hot. Yeah. We definitely want to book this campground again mm -hmm. in the wintertime mm -hmm. or where it's a little cooler. Yeah. And uh, we're going to head back and do a tick check. Make sure we don't have any ticks on us anywhere. Mm -hmm. And these clothes are going in the bag so they're separated from everything else. Outside the RV. Yes. Just to be safe. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll have some dinner tonight and uh, just uh, relax. Yep. Mm -hmm. So last evening. So if you like hiking and you like biking, this might be the park for you in Florida. I'm here to tell you. Yep. And if you like horseback riding, if you have horses, well, I mean, they true. have all three here. It's true. So. Yeah. It's, it's, I never even thought about that because we don't do that. But yeah, it's uh, yeah. it's got all three: equestrian, bike, and and hike. And these bike trails and these hiking trails for Florida, pretty pretty fun. You know? mm -hmm. All right. We're going to get the pups back before they overheat. Yep. So Chuck, it says that it's a bicycle wash, but what what is it today? Today it's a dog wash. It's a dog wash. This is a dog peeling station. Yes. So somebody got overheated out there yeah, walking the trail. She's got that thick fur and cooling her down. We don't want her to overheat. Poor girl. Mm -hmm. 
Does that feel good, Nick? That feels great. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to go again. Mommy's doing pretty good. He's not. He's, he's not. Little... Not too hot because he doesn't have as much fur as she does. Yeah. She's solid. She's just solid. Oh my God, Muttley. Really? Really, Muttley. So here at the trailheads, they have like a couple pavilions. They have a uh, little playground for the kids. And they have a bicycle shop over there where they rent bicycles. And I guess you can probably buy gear for your bikes, probably, you know. Any helmets and whatnot. Yeah. You have to have helmets to be on these trails. It says that it's required. Oh, yeah. And I highly would Recommend not break in. Even if they weren't, I would yeah. say you need to have a yeah. helmet. These trails are pretty wild. Yep. <clears throat> And then they do, like I said, they do have the bike wash here, so you can wash your bikes down when you're done. This is, man, I love this park. Yep. Wasn't expecting this much here, quite honestly. So, yep, I have a bike shop right here. And there's a pavilion right next to it. We just came from over there. And they have bathrooms. I'm not sure if those bathrooms have showers, but I have a feeling they do. Nikki has been cooled off by the bike wash and she's ready to go again. She was definitely overheating. Yeah. What you girl? It's hot. It's very humid, isn't it? She wants to go back and find the armadillo now. That's a buck. Young buck right there. So cute. All right, so we're getting ready to go. It is uh our last day here, but we're gonna go ride our bikes one last time and we're gonna to try to cut through at the campground over to the bike trails and see how far that is going that way rather than loading the bikes in the truck and driving around. So we noticed that last night that there is a cut through. So we're gonna go hit the bike trails for maybe an hour and then come back, take the dogs for a quick little ride and start packing up. And it's back to the grind tomorrow. Okay, so here I go. I'm gonna try it again. Allie's gonna videotape. I you, babe. I would never do this. Here you go. I got gotcha. you. You ready to do this? I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. This is what it's gonna look like at the bottom. Wow. Holy cow. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Not that brave. It's beautiful down here though. This is a long ways uphill and we still got, I don't know if you can see, it's a long way to go. I've rediscovered bike riding as a kid because I used to love it so much as a kid. Yeah. And now you just gotta learn how to do these trails and the mm -hmm. obstacles and stuff. I went over one of the bridge, uh, bridges, I was proud of myself, but I didn't do it. There are three bridges yeah. that you can, like, they're real narrow, and I couldn't do any of them on the way out. I did one on the way back. So, hey, uh, that's, a pro that's a little bit of progress. Yeah, we uh, we decided not to take the, the main road back to the campground like we thought we would, just to avoid the trails and make it a little easier pedaling because the sun is just so bright and so hot, we figured Let's just go ahead and take the trail, the connector trail back, because we're at least we're in the shade. But uh, what we didn't realize is this long road right here is basically a steady climb. I would say it's a looks like it could be a quarter to a half a mile. It was downhill going. That was nice. But so, now going back home. I told Allie, I said I gotta have a break. We gotta take a break. I'm uh, overheating. So I could have kept going, but I'm glad didn't stop. Yeah. A little bit of water. All right. So we're gonna. Try to finish this uh, bike ride up, head back, and get a couple showers because we need them before we head out. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, so if you're new to our channel, make sure and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell notification. That way you know when we upload a new video. And uh, drop us a like if you like this video. And drop us a comment. Let us know uh, if you know of other bike trails here in Florida like this that Alafia River has. Because uh, we, we want to we want to explore more. <laughs> Yeah, so in the comment sections, if you know of some other cool uh, mountain biking trails uh, that's, you know. Please let us know. Let us know. Drop us a line. Okay, we will see you guys next time. Probably going to be at uh, Devil's Den. We're going to do a makeup trip there. All right, so we will see you guys on the next adventure. Thanks for watching. See ya. See ya.